What's going on family? This video is sponsored by Slab City Jigs. Be sure to go check them out at slabcityjigs.com. We have come together and made a custom line of soft plastics for you guys. Go get you a couple individual packs or you can pick up this custom 903 fishing kit right here available on the website right now. Y'all be sure to stick around and see these jigs in action. Y'all stay tuned. Oh, that, that's not a small fish. That's not a small fish. That's a toad. That is a toad. God, dog. That is a toad. What's going on, YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. I'm pumped up about this trip today, guys. I'm actually going to be meeting Walker over here, and, and we're going to be in the kayaks today. Now, we have a plan, okay? Our plan is we're going to hit this bridge up where a creek channel runs through and there's a few sets of pillars underneath that bridge. Now, we're hoping that the crappie have done moved underneath that bridge to stage to spawn. So that creek channel runs underneath that bridge and then goes off into the cove. And typically, we have caught spawning crappie in that cove in the past. So we're thinking that there's going to be some staging pre-spawn crappie on this bridge. If you haven't, go ahead and hit that like button for me. I greatly appreciate it. Also, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, guys. If you haven't, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. Whether you like crappie fishing from the boat bank or the kayak, this is the channel for you. I'm going to be giving away a couple ACC crappie sticks once we hit that 50,000 subscriber mark. And if you are a part of the 903 Fishing family, God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. I greatly appreciate the support. We're actually getting a little later start today than we would want, but we're going to try to get on them for you guys. Y'all stay tuned. There he is. No, off that. Oh, it's a good one, bro. Look at that black. Look at that black crappie. Wow. Look at that black crappie, guys. I haven't checked my. I haven't checked my angle. I'm hoping y'all can see this right here. Wow. We're gonna see if we can't get on some of these staging crappie right here. Pitched out on that uh, pillar right there, bro, and bam. Hey, hey, uh, they they aren't that deep, dude. Walker's got the live scope on his kayak over there, so we're... <laughs> Walker's, got, Walker's got the live scope over there, so I, I'm over here doing real fishing. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Walker, Walker does not have, have... Oh, there he is, bro. Ah, little guy. But hey, you know what? Crappie. A little guy, throw that one back. You know what? I've caught several fish off this set of pillars right here. These crappie aren't sitting, they're really not sitting that deep. I don't think. I mean, it looks like they're sitting about, I don't know, six to eight feet probably. All right, guys, throughout today's video, I'm going to be applying this stump gel. Now, somebody had told me that I was talking down on crappie nibbles because I said with, with this stump gel, you don't have to apply it every single drop. So to me, this is more efficient than a crappie nibble. Crappie nibbles work, don't get me wrong, but this stump gel, okay, every 10, 12, 15 drops, I can reapply this stump gel. I'm gonna also give it to Walker, see if he can tell the difference. I don't think Walker's used it yet, but I'll be using this stump gel throughout this video today. So I'm not gonna show every time I put it on, but it's pretty simple. It comes in the tube. You can go to thumpgel.com, get 10% off with code 903. So 10% off with code 903 on the website, thumpgel.com. Y'all be sure to go check it out. There he is. Oh, that's a keeper, bro, I think. Do it. No. Let's see here. You got him? Oh, you hung up? Looks like a keeper, guys. Let's see what he's looking like. Oh, yeah. Ten and a half, guys. Whoa. 
Ten and a half. God dog. Oh. That's gotta be oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a good one. Look at that. Look at that crappie, guys. Is that a, is that a, oh, it's white. Look at that, bro. I mean, not a giant, but it's, shoot. It's a good fish. On them Slab City, baby. Oh, yeah. Hey, bro. That was about six feet. Ain't that crazy? Hey, guys, that's a, that's a decent fish. I mean, that's 12 incher, probably. Yeah, 12 incher, easy. Nice white crappie. Put him in the basket. Ah! Oh, ho, ho. bro. Good black. Solid black crappie, bro. Solid. That's a keeper, huh? I should be. I mean, looks like a keeper. No. Bro, that's 11 and a half. That's 11 and a half. Dang. Yeah, I was pretty adamant about that one. I was like, yeah, let's keep <laughs> Hey man, you might be, I, I guess you're right. No, I mean, you're right. Like they're not deep. Oh, bro, bro. Oh God, dog, oh, look at that. Ooh, that's a good one too, guys. Oh man. No measurement needed? Huh? Ain't that what you say? Ain't that what I say? No measurement needed? Hey guys, that's a thick black crappie right there, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Hey man, that's one, two, wait. One, five. I got five in the basket. Hey guys, let's see if we can go get some more. All right, guys, hadn't talked about the rod today. I have the 10 foot ACC crappie stick super grip, Yamoshi XF 1000, 10 pound Power Pro braid. Walker, what do you got over there? Walker, the same thing. Walker has the exact same setup that he got for me, guys. And you know what? It's, it's gonna put some crappie in the kayak, in the boat, whatever you wanna say. These 10 footers right here are legit. I do love my 11 footer. That's my favorite jigging rod. Hard to beat, hard to beat this 10 footer too, guys. God dog, bro. Yep. I don't know if he's gonna make it, but. Huh? Close. That was a little deeper, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That was probably more about 10 foot. All right, guys. Hey, bro, he's 10 and a quarter. This one's 10 and a quarter, too. You keeping it? Well, that's a keeper. Keeper in my neck of the woods, guys. 10 inches. 10 and a quarter. We're gonna take that one. <laughs> let's go. Let's go get another one. All right, guys. I'm gonna show y'all something that's kind of weird. So I got these silver and monkey milk jigs from slab city the 903 fish and signature series but the bag of baits got wet and look at the color that it has turned i'm actually happy with the color it's very interesting to say the least but you know what that's what i'm using today so far it's the silver and monkey milk it's working it done got wet but it's working let me make my way back off over here Oh, there he is. Feels like a small guy. Oh, no, no, no. Close. That didn't take long. Look at that, guys. That jig right in the top of the, or actually, that one was right in the, bot the bottom lip. Come here, my guy. Hey, hey, bro, 10 and a half. 10 and a half on him. Nice fish.
Letting that jig fall. Giving it some pop. Look at there. Look at there. Uh-oh, bro. This feels like a better fish. Oh, yeah. No, that's a keep for sure. Oh. Look at there, guys. That's a keeper, man. That's probably 11. And it is just shy of 11. Nice. Let's go get another one. Oh my gosh, bro. Bro, bro, bro. We're going back to back. Oh my gosh. Get him in. Get him. Oh. Dude, that is a toad black crappie. <laughs> bro, are you seeing this? That's a mammoo. Mammu son, bro, that's over 12 inches. Oh my goodness. Let's get it. Jigs, Slab City Jigs, baby. You do any crappie fishing? Man, you ever heard of 903 fishing? That's my YouTube channel. Oh yeah, fish all around here, man. I appreciate it. I didn't miss that one. Are we doubling right now, bro? We doubling. Yours is a freaking, oh, mine came off. Dude, that's a toad. Here, let me back up a little bit. Show me that one, Walker. Yeah, dude, that's shoulders, baby. Good fish, bro. Let's go. I don't know, man. Those bigger fish. <laughs> wow. Dude, that is slab. Oh my gosh. It is a female. We'll probably get hate for keeping some females, but there's plenty in here, guys. Guys, I done gave Walker some of those slab cities. The uh, new color combination I created on accident. Walker and I are out here with no electronics. We're using our, our, our crappie knowledge right here, okay? This is a cove from the lake. This bridge goes off into this creek channel right here into this cove where crappie spawn. So we know that th this right here is a good pre-spawn staging area for these crappie. So, you know, no electronics. We're just out here jigging these pillars and just kind of out in the open, trying to find the correct depth to stay at. And we're, we're pulling in fish. Anybody can do this. Now, of course, you would probably need a kayak at minimum. Now, you could fish from the banks right here, a little steep, but it's possible. You can go do this too. It's all about having crappie knowledge and the knowledge of patterns of crappie on where they'll be certain times of the year and the next part of that is just to go fish just go fish yeah guys for the most part these crappie they just seem to be roaming i mean we're catching a few on the pillars but if you've been watching some of these aren't coming from the pillars look at oh see look i just got freaking nailed if i don't get bit then i'll open that bell up and i'll go a foot deeper don't get bit, reel up a couple spins, try a little shallower. Uh-oh. Oh yeah. Looks like a decent one, huh? Get the, see what this one looks like, guys. He looks like he, could be a potential greaser, and he is. Ten and a half, baby. Let's go. Oh crap! Ten and a half. Nice. Let's go. Let's go get another one. ACC crappie sticks and slab city jigs, guys. A little deadly combination right here in the kayak. 
There you go, Wynn. Just stay. Just like... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Look at that one, bro. He got the fungus, but he'll be all right. I don't think nobody else is going to mess with him, so I might as well keep him right. Dude, that stuff just rubs off. That right there, guys, called ick. It literally just rub off with your thumbnail. So, look at this, guys. Hey, just shy of 11. Just shy of 11. No. Don't lose the ACC, baby. Uh -huh. Whoo, let's go, baby. Oh, 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 bro. Bro, 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 bro. Ah, I thought it was a little bigger than that, but. Huh? Should be a keeper, huh? Let's see what he's looking like. It's gonna be close. Hey, 10 and a quarter, man. Ooh, get him, bro. Oh, bro, that's a toad. That's a toad. Oh, that is a freaking giant. That's a giant. Get him, bro. Dang. Get him. Oh, God. <laughs> Yes, dude, that's a that's a pound and a half. Yeah. It's a pound and a half. Hey bro, this is ten and a, ooh, this is ten and a quarter right here. Let me keep that one. That is a giant. Bro, that's a good fish. I guess I'll start keeping it. That's a good fish. Dang it, man. That would have been eleven. Look, 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 back to back. Ah, oh, it's a little guy. Oh, oh gosh, no, he's not. No. <gasps> he's in. I got him. He's in, bro. Dude, I thought that was a small fish. He didn't really fight. <laughs> wow. Dude, that is a slab black crappie. You seeing this? Dude, that's almost 12 inches. Wow, I did not, dude, he just didn't fight. Wow. Oh my gosh, bro, that was wild. It definitely slowed down a lot though. First second there, we got down here first light. There he is. There he is. Oh my gosh, bro. That's a big black crappie. Gosh. Well, uh, no measurement needed on that one. No measurement needed on that one. That's a good, that's a solid black crappie, guys. Wow. There you go. Look at there. Slab City holding up. See, look, bro. I just caught that fish on that Slab City. Look, didn't have to adjust it or anything. Oh, bro, that's a good fish. Black, the black crappie have come to play today. And that's another good one. Wow, look at that guys. Another no measurement needed type of fish. And look at that, that Slab City guys. Caught about 10 fish off this one jig. And it's holding up pretty well. Look at that guys, no measurement. I mean that is, when I say no measurement, that is a 11 and a half inch crappie. Pretty easy to tell right there. Thick too, won't even go in the checker. Thick, thick, thick. Think there's a brush pile right here oh my gosh I he hit it like a big fish bro oh my gosh oh, oh bro yeah look at that black <laughs> bro he came back for it because he had hit it and then stopped look at that black crappie guys i mean that that is a good fish that's a probably about a 12 incher, 11 and a half 12er. 
Let's go, baby. Hey, man, I wonder if they went deep. Damn, is I already that deep? Oh, that's why. He hit it on the fall. As soon as I lowered it, look at that. Huh? Good black crappie. Male. As soon as I lowered it, he hit it. I was wondering why my jig stopped falling. Hey, 10 and a half incher, baby. Let's roll. Oh, oh, buddy, bro. Oh, let's go. Oh, come here, 10 footer. You're killing me. Oh, I got a cramp. Oh, bro. That's a good fish. Hey, he's got one eyeball. Oh, you're right. We got a one eye. Look at that. That's a good fish, guys. No measurement needed once again. Oh, that, that's not a small fish. That's not a small fish. That's a toad. That is a toad. God dog. That is a toad. Ooh. Ooh. Am I recording? I don't even know if I'm recording, bro. Of course, somebody's trying to call me. Bro, I, I don't even know if I'm recording. I think I am. We're gonna act like I am. Bro, that is a stud. That's a big, that's a big female. Look at that fish, guys. I mean, that right there, bro, that's gonna be just shy of 14. Look at that fish. Wowza. Let's go, baby. All right, guys. Let's go. I know I'm getting close to a limit. Let's go. All right, guys. I'm sitting at 22 keepers. Can we get three more? I don't know. Bites kind of slowed down on us a little bit. We're going to see if we can't get three more fish. Three, well, three more keepers, I should say. All right, bro. Hold on. Oh, I'm recording. Hey, Walker's got to go, guys, so he's going to get up out of here, but Caleb's gonna get his last three fish. I need three fish for a limit, so I'm going to stay and see if I can get her done, baby. All right, family. Looks like these crappie have shut off. I, I've tried my best to get these last three, but it just ain't happening. So it looks like I'm going to head back to the boat ramp right here. I'm going to lay out these fish and let y'all see them. Y'all stay tuned. Uh-oh. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Well, I, I said I was about to go. You know how that is. Huh? Yeah, there he is. Yeah. I ain't no measurement needed on that fish. That's a keeper all day, guys. Well, that's 23. Well, I said I was about to go. Started fishing right here and started getting bites. Maybe, maybe there's two more in there. What's going on family? Well, I'm back at the ramp right here and check this out. End of the day with 23 keepers. Just could not finish off that limit. But you know what? Some really good fish right here, guys. A couple of these, probably pound and a half or so, but, and a lot of black crappie, which is surprising to me because I usually run into a lot of white crappie around here, but either way, I'll take those black crappie as well. Today, guys, I targeted a bridge once again, a great pre-spawn area for these crappie before they go off in this cove in this little creek channel to spawn. And we mainly caught our fish anywhere from six to 10 feet deep. I went ahead and went with my 10 foot ACC crappie sticks today. Instead of using my 11 footer, since I knew I was gonna be in the kayak, I wanted to kind of shorten up a little bit. So that 10 foot did really, really well today in the kayak. You can find these types of situations on your lake as well. 
bridges that go into a cove that have a creek channel running through it those are going to be great pre-spawn and even post-spawn areas for these crappies so y'all be sure to go out there and get them if you like this video today be sure to hit that thumbs up button i'd greatly appreciate it remember guys we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers so if you haven't hit that subscribe button and you love you some crappie fishing whether it be from the boat bank or the kayak this is the channel for you go ahead and hit that subscribe button come join the family and if you already are a part of the family god bless you y'all know i would not be doing this without you guys like always like comment and subscribe to 903 fishing y'all have a great day god bless